For the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Pentacles, ends with a Knight of Swords. Now, the Five of Pentacles can point to a time when life, it could be feeling less than secure. But the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from force, from forces seen and unseen you may feel alone but you have the capacity to change that so reach out you could feel like you're being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world does everything and you're the only one suffering but just remember that this is not the case do the best you can with what you have but remember the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it, because the help that you need, it will come. Now, so the Knight of Swords, which brings an upbeat, cheerful type of energy. The Knights can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords is about a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things done and accomplished. So you're not likely to want to wait for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing because the Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. So the recent past energy, Libra, Five of Pentacles clarified by this Knight of Swords. So the message that I'm getting is that you, you had someone or your person was rushing or excited to be with you, that this person could have been traveling long distance, or maybe they live far from you, or maybe they actually lived with you. Regardless, this person was excited to come towards you. Because the Knight of Swords comes rushing in, and they cut out whatever gets in their way to be with their person. Yeah, this person wanted to come in and sweep you right off your feet. They were planning and ready to take action. So, because it's with the Five of Pentacles, it looks like you didn't open the door. Because if you look at the Five of Pentacles, it's the card above the word pass. You see this lady, it looks like she, she could have... Um, Realized she couldn't get in the door. Maybe she kept knocking and knocking and no one answered. Or maybe you just didn't let her in. So somebody's carrying her away. And she's very disturbed. <coughs> and what's making it worse is that the dog is barking at her also. So she's feeling left out in the cold. That's how, that's how you made your person feel. Yeah, so for some of you, your person flew in from way across town, or they just rushed in. Are you excited to be with you, and you didn't answer the door, Libra? What was that all about? But anyway, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Seven of Wands, and it's with the Ace of Wands. 
Now, the Seven of Wands, with this card, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation, you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they'll be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be the time that you need to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because when you get the Seven of Wands in a reading, your thinking is clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. So, this card, it does point towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's with the Ace of Wands, which is about new beginnings. And the, these are very positive new beginnings. Um... It could be an area of work, or personally, um, if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. And I say this because if you look at the Ace of Wands, it's the card below the word present. It looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but no, it's actually burst above the clouds really fast and powerful. Yeah, it's about being upbeat optimistic, hopeful about the future. So you're likely to be feeling really energetic and positive. Or, like I said, you'll be feeling that way soon. The Ace tells you that now is also a good time to start something new. Okay, so coming up, Seven of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands. So the message that I'm getting, getting Libra is that it looks like you could be wanting a new beginning for the new year. Yeah. But your person is still holding on to you. Yeah. The Seven of Wands is about the card above the word present. That's also about wanting to win. Wanting to be the last man standing. Yeah, the person wants to be the last man standing. They want to win this connection. They want to come out on top. But it looks like you could be, you want a new beginning, a new, a new beginning for the new year. Or you could be going towards someone new or someone else. It looks like you want a fresh start for the new year. But your person there, you're their fresh start for them. They're still in it to win it. Put it that way. Well, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Knight of Pentacles, and it's with the Six of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles is actually a really good energy. It's a very stable, solid, loyal, committed type of energy. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is... Um, is a solid foundation. It could mean commitment. Or it could mean that the commitment is solid. This is, um, can be a very practical and patient and protective type of person. Or energy. Uh, can be known as your knight in shining armor, the knight of pentacles. The card above the word challenge. But it's with the Six of Swords, which can indicate some type of movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There could be a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery is going to be helpful. And just know that this does not have to cost money. So the challenge, Libra, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Swords. Okay, so the message that I'm getting. Like I said, your person, they're still holding on to you, whether you know it or not. That's why they come rushing in. 
cutting out whatever it took or whatever it takes to be with you. You're not answering the door. You're ready for a new life, a new year, a new day, a new, be a new beginning, a fresh new start. And I'm getting it's not with this person. You could be looking for somebody like the Knight of Pentacles, something more stable and solid, something more committed. You just, you're looking for a, a healthier energy, put it that way. But your person is a six of swords down there. If they can't have a new beginning with you, they just want to be a part of your life, whether it's just as friends or just staying connected somehow. Maybe just by communicating by text, phone, by mail, by snail mail. Somehow they just want to stay connected. Yeah, if, if they can't have you, they just want to be a part of your life. Because if you look at the Six of Swords, it's a card below the word challenge. These two people in... They just got out of raging waters. Now the, the storm has stopped. The waters are calm. So they're moving into calmer waters. There's no more blow-ups or there's no more stormy disagreements. Yeah, your person just want to... They want to just stay near you, stay connected. Even if it's not, a, not what they want. They want to. To have you. They want to come on on top of a relationship with you. Uh, they want to be with you. But if they can't be with you, be with you. They just want to stay connected. Because like I said, the Six of Swords, they're still connected. They're in the boat. Just the two of them. They're not looking at each other. She's She's got her back to him. And she's looking at Looking at her computer, at the work that she has to do for the week ahead, and he's just trying to get them from one place to the to the next. So there's there's no love here. There's no deep connection here. But your person, they know that you could be wanting a new beginning somewhere else because you didn't. You didn't, you're not opening the door. So. If they can't have a relationship with you, like I said, they just want to stay connected somehow. Like the Six of Swords, maybe. Yeah, you're looking for some other type of energy that you feel would be healthier for you. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Strength card. And it's with the Four... Of cups. Now the strength card, it could be about meditating, contemplating, and spending some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got 19 kids. But don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things, they'll be going all right. But what's most important is trying to keep your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears. Control your impulses. And never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now, it's with the Four of Cups, which is a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now. Count your many blessings that you experience. And don't worry too much about what could be. And I say this because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So your outcome, Libra, strength card, clarified by Four of Cups. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, your person, they're having regrets. 
showing up for the outcome here. Four of Cups is the card below the word outcome. This person sitting on the grass at a park. He's got his head down. He's wishing his life away there. He's in deep regret. Looks like he cut his hand. There's blood all over his hand. And he's so stuck on regret and wishing things were different that he can't even get up to take care of himself. He's just stuck there. The person is having regrets and they could re start to realize that there's things about them that they need to work on. But the thing is, for some of you, or for some of them, it's the reason is, I don't know, it seems like they want to make some improvements to them to try to make you happy. Not to make them happy, though. They want to make improvements to them to try to get you to be more interested. Yeah, because the strength card is about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, acceptance. Yeah, your person is there feeling devalued and unloved by you. That's also about the Four of Cups. That's what the Four of Cups can be about. They're feeling that way. You didn't, you're not answering the door. They see that you want a new beginning somewhere else. And they just want to stay connected to you. You got somebody that has emotion, deep emotions for you, Libra. They're feeling devalued and unloved. And now it's showing that they can start to try to improve themselves. I don't know if it's going to be in a healthy way, though. I just keep getting that feeling. Yeah. If this person has money, they could go out and have all kinds of plastic surgery. I'm just kidding. It's not going to be in a, in a very healthy way. Yeah, it's, to me, it seems like an unhealthy type of attachment here. I could be wrong. I'm just getting that feeling for a lot of you. You got somebody that's attached to you in an unhealthy way. For some of you, if it's a healthy way, this person will go on and build themselves up. They'll practice self-love, unconditional love, and self-respect. And they'll try to become a stronger person. But for right now, they're feeling devalued and unloved. Yeah, you didn't answer the door, Libra. What happened? But anyway, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hanging there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care, come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing all of you a very happy new year. I hope you have a great day. And take care. And take care. And take care.